boys and girls? Dr. Boone here. I hope you've had another beautiful, wonderful, fantastic week. You know, today I was reading my Bible and I read Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. And do you know what it says? Jesus at the Sermon on the Mount, he says, you are the light of the world. That means I'm the light, you're the light, all who believe in Jesus Christ, we light up the world. Isn't that a beautiful thing to know, boys and girls, that we get rid of the darkness in the world, that we bring love and truth and light, direction to others and to ourselves? Wow. But you know what? It's sad, but it's a reality that not everybody wants the light. Not everybody loves the light. And we can kind of look and see that sometimes when people see that our light is burning bright, they try to pour water on our light. Maybe they try to say mean things to you or mean things about your family. Or maybe you get disappointed and discouraged because you tried out for a baseball, softball, basketball team, cheerleading team. Maybe you wanted to do something special and you didn't win that election and somebody made fun of you and laughed at you. But look, the world is always trying to pour water on our light. You see, boys and girls? But guess what? The light is still shining. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because we are not of the world. We live in the world, but we are not part of the world. Why? Because we have accepted Jesus Christ and his teaching. We know that God loves us and we know that he has prepared a place, a heavenly place for us after this world. So no matter what the world does, no matter what disappointments you have, your light is still going to shine brightly. But there is one person that can dim your light. Yep, one person. And do you know who it is? The one person that can dim our light would be us. How do we do that? Well, if we decide, hopefully, we will not do that, but if you decide, I'm not going to read my Bible, I'm not going to listen to the pastor's words, I'm not going to have faith in what the Savior has said, I'm not going to say my prayers. If you forget or you do not do as God has commanded us to do, we are the only person that can put our beautiful lights out. But you know what, boys and girls? I have so much faith. Our light is not going to go out because we're going to keep on loving the Lord, serving the Lord, knowing that God is love. We're going to say our prayers. We're going to believe. We're going to trust. We're going to do the things that we no, God has commanded us to do, and our light will continue to shine brightly. Isn't that beautiful, boys and girls? Remember, this little light, keep it shining brightly all the time. All right, boys and girls, it's been my pleasure, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And remember, keep your light shining. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.